glad you guys are here with us for Code 9. I am just so ready to say some verses and to sing some songs and to have a Bible story. Peggy, are you ready for that too? Of course. All right. Well, let's start with our verses. You ready to do some of your verses tonight? I was born ready. All right. Well, kids, we want you to say your verses along with us. Be practicing those verses so you're ready when we get back together. So here we go, Peggy. Who has sinned? For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Romans 3.23. Oh, that is very good. Lammy? <laughs> very good. What are the wages of sin? Uh, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 6.23. <laughs> Why did God send Jesus into the world? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. John 3.16. Bah! That is very good. So, um, Miss Sherry, I, I'm really wanting to ask this question to Lammy. May well, I ask it? Well, sure. Okay. How do I become saved, Lammy? Me, 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 me. Yeah, that was it. I'll interpret it for oh, you guys. Well, thank you. If you confess with your mouth. Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Romans 10, 9. That is right. That is very good. So, is a person saved as a result of good works? For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not as a result of works, so that no one should boast. Ephesians 2, 8 through 9. <laughs> Good. Why did God give us the scripture? All scripture is inspired by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, for training in righteousness. 2 Timothy 3, 16. Very good. <laughs> now, what is the greatest commandment? You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. Mark 12, 30. That's, <laughs> that's right. Okay, um, Miss Sherry, can I, can I ask Lammy this one? Sure. Okay, okay, Lammy, what is the second greatest commandment? Me, <laughs> me. Me, 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 me. Yeah. Okay, I'll interpret that one too. The second is this. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. Mark 12, 31. Very good. Very good. And, and Miss Sherry, can, can I ask you this question? Well, sure. Okay, no cheating. Ugh, okay. <laughs> okay. Do all things work out for good? And we know that God causes all things to work together for good to those who love God and to those who are called according to his purpose. Romans 8, 28. Wow. Did I get it? You got it. All right. Very good. Kids, did you get your verses? I hope you got them really, really good and you're working on those. Now, it's time for us to sing, right? Yay! Yes, we love to sing. So you guys stand up, do the motions with us, and sing while we worship our Heavenly Father. <laughs>
Sammy, Peggy. Oh. Yo, 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 what's up, Miss Sherry? Well, hey, Peggy. And here's my homegirl, Lammy. Me, me. <laughs> All right. So you're going to have to help me out. What's going on? Well, we heard about the story today that it is the rich young ruler. And we are rich, we are cool, and we are ruling. Okay. <laughs> well, that's true. Our story today is in the New Testament. And it is. It's called the rich young ruler. It's about... Um, a young man that came up to Jesus and he asked Jesus, Jesus, how can I have eternal life? Now that's a big question, but Jesus was very clear with his answer. You ready to watch our story? Of course. Well, what about watch... you, Lammy? Meh, <laughs> meh. All right. Well, let's watch our story. One day, Jesus and his disciples were on their way to Jerusalem. A rich young leader came running to Jesus. He got down on his knees and asked Jesus a question. Good teacher, what do I need to do to live with you forever in heaven when I die? Good teacher, why do you call me good? Only God is truly good. I believe you are from God, teacher. Hmm. Well, to answer your question, you know the Ten Commandments, right? You must not murder. You must not be unfaithful to your wife. You must not steal. You must not tell lies. You must not cheat anyone. Honor your father and mother. Oh yes, teacher. I've obeyed all these commandments since I was a kid. Is that all? Jesus looked at the man with a smile. He loved this young man. Jesus really wanted this man to follow him and could see what was holding him back. Well then, there's still one thing you haven't done. Go and sell everything you own, and give your money to the poor, so you will have treasure in heaven. Then, I want you to come follow me and be one of my disciples. When the man heard this, his face fell. Instead of saying yes to Jesus' offer, he walked away, feeling sad. He didn't want to give up his stuff. It would be easier for a camel to walk through the eye of a needle than for a rich person to enter the kingdom of God. You can't get there holding on to the things you love here on earth. You have to let go of the things on earth to grab on to the things of heaven. The disciples wondered, who in the world could be saved then? Isn't that too hard for anyone to do? With your own human strength, it is impossible. But with God's strength, everything is possible. Peter, one of Jesus' disciples, said, We've given up everything to follow you, Jesus. Yes, you have. And I promise you that everyone who has given up everything to follow me and spread the good news will receive a reward a hundred times better. In life on earth, you'll face hard times and suffering, but you'll get eternal life. Those who are the greatest now will be the least important then those who seem the least important now will be the greatest in heaven. So Peggy, did you see that the rich young, young ruler, he had scripture memorized just like you did. He knew many of the Ten Commandments, probably all of them. He knew that he needed to obey his parents, that he needed to make sure he never killed anyone or stole or lied. Those were all things that he knew. But still, in the story, he wasn't willing to follow Jesus. Did you see that? Yeah, I saw that. It, it was really interesting. So, so if I follow all the Ten Commandments, I still need to follow Jesus? That's right. As a matter of fact, the rich young ruler asked, well, how can I have eternal life? And he said, Jesus told him to go and sell everything and then come and follow him. Now, Peggy, do you think it's wrong for us to be rich? Well, by the story, it kind of sounds like it. Yeah, it might sound like it, but really, God doesn't tell us that we can't be rich. He just tells us that those things that we have, that stuff, can't be more important than him. Does that make sense? Oh, oh, yeah, so it's like the idols in the Old Testament. It's Ex like, 
idols today, right? That's right. Right. Right, and so we have to make sure that God is the most important thing to us. After the rich young ruler left, the disciples even asked, well, then how do you become saved? And Jesus said that, you know, with us, it's impossible, but with God, all things are possible. So God's the one that saves us. We confess with our mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. And what that means is that God saves us. If we confess Jesus and believe that Jesus is the Son of God and that he died for us, then we will be saved and have eternal life. What a good story. Wow. Miss Sherry, I've already made that decision in my life, but I want to tell everybody. Oh, good. That's right. After we get to know Jesus, we follow him, and that's what we do. We tell everybody about Jesus and how we love him. Right? Now, what do we do next? Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you have to take your quiz? Oh, yeah, I got to take my quiz. <laughs> yes, you have to click on the link and take your quiz so that we'll know that you answered your questions over the story. Because what do you want, Peggy? I want those harbor bucks. That's right. So make sure that you take your quiz so you can get your harbor bucks. It's so good to see you guys today. I'm glad you were here. Lammy, thanks for coming. Me. <laughs> yeah, okay. And... We'll see you next week. Bye, kids. Bye. Meh. <laughs>